Aquarius, 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 what's popping? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Um, also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I may cuss a little, I may cuss a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? So stay with me now. Get enlightened. Um, this is for my sun, moon, rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Aquarius. I miss y'all so much. How y'all been? What's been going on in the life of an Aquarius? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all been behaving? Are y'all opening them hearts up? Are y'all over there still being stiff, stiff with the heart? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> y'all, thank you so much for all of my um my likes, my shares, my subscribes to the new subbies. Welcome to the family, y'all. Uh, we don't fight, we don't fuss here. We do cuss, okay? We cuss, we cry a little bit too. We might cry, we grow, we uplift, we evolve, we enlighten, we evolve, evolve, okay? Evolve, evolve, okay? <laughs> My words fucked up. But, um, again, this is not a personal, okay? It's simply a general. If you do need a personal, hit me up. This will be the last week, September the 1st. If you want a $10, 10-minute 10 reading, go ahead and get it in. Because after September the 1st, that reading is dead, 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 dead. R.I.P. the $10 reading. We're going to let it go, okay? Um, so go ahead and get your $10 reading in if you want a 10-minute uh, 10 10 $10 reading. Also, if you got a friend that's a counsel or a Leo, there's uh, the, the special for the $40 30-minute reading ends today, okay? It's the 25th, so y'all get it in. This will be from the 1st to the 15th of September, okay? Um, again, thank y'all for all the likes, shares, subscribes, the love. Y'all, I truly appreciate it. I read every comment. I may don't have time to come in back, y'all, because... Who knew in six months, what, well, six, excuse me, six, seven months now, Mocha would grow so fast. I have 4,000, I'm sorry, 4,400 family members, gang, gang, so family, okay? So thank you so much. Yeah, I'm so humble. I, I literally be surprised myself. When I be seeing them numbers, I sometimes I've cried like, oh my God, I've reached that many people. You know, I see a uh, hundred and some thousand of you. I've reached that many people to spread my light and spread my love. So I'm grateful that God even allowed me the wisdom, the enlightenment, the gift to even be able to come before y'all. I'm thankful. So for that, y'all, thank you for receiving me. Thank you so much. All right. So we finna rock. All right. I do see, again, this is from the 1st to the 15th of September, okay? The message that, um, the first message I got from you guys comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, okay? The message that hopped out all the way on the damn flow for Aquarius was Amber, right? It says, give it to God. Take a deep breath. And on the exhale... Release this situation to God for healing and answers, okay? It says you received this card because there's an issue weighing you down, and this burden could be lifted by you giving it to God. You don't have to deal with this situation alone as divine help is readily available. Perhaps you forgot, or maybe you were unsure how to let go and let God handle the situation. As you read this paragraph, pause for a moment to pray from your heart, asking for help to let this go with whatever words are sincere. Hanging on to a problem never resolves it and actually can make it worse. Amber reminds us that God has always been with us since the beginning of time and material existence. This reminder is meant to boost our faith that God knows how to solve any problem. However, we have to first give it to God because our free will choices are also respected. So again, that goes, I told y'all before about the control. Don't try to control certain things, okay? Let the control go. Whatever it is that's weighing you down, whatever it is that you're worrying about, totally give it to God. Let God do his job, okay? I've been telling everybody that doing personal readings. I don't know what's going on with the energy. We all feel like, well, I can stop it and I can make it happen. No! Hold up. Wait a minute, okay? Take a pause. Let God just <laughs> do his job, all right? Let, let the most high do the most high's job. All right. We cannot control everything. And during this time, a lot of us are going to be getting um, those little slaps in the face, aha moments, whatever you want to call them that, you know, hey, let God do his job. Because we find that when we let God do his own job and we put the burdens down, we're not worried. We're not stressed out. We have fucks to balance in our everyday life. You know, so let God do God's job. During this time, Mother wanted to speak to y'all. Y'all cars were jumping, honey. For those of you who are having children or 
Babies in the babies in the building. Look here. Congratulations, my love. For those of you who've been having issues with conceiving, I am seeing mother wants you to know if you for, for someone, I don't know what the procedure is called where you go with the eggs, but I do see um I don't know what's significant about uh September or maybe the the eighth day this month in the September the, between the first and the fifteenth, the eighth day. Is going to be, um, and I feel like for those of you who I'm talking to about this, your third eye is wide open during this time. I feel like y'all have already kind of seen the significance of the number eight to y'all. You've been seeing eight, eight, eight. I feel like something is getting ready, something huge is getting ready to materialize. For those of you who are having issues with having children and maybe thought you couldn't have none, somebody's tubes is tied and they're going to find out that they're pregnant. And you're possibly in fear of this ectopic pregnancy, baby, but this pregnancy is coming to the surface. That's for somebody because I for spirit say that's 10% of y'all, so it's more than you alone with that issue. Then baby's coming, okay? They are special children. They're star seeds. They're meant to be here. Uh, for some of y'all, some of y'all are in love, okay? You're in love with the, or with the, with the fire sign. And maybe you or this person have been, you, one of y'all can't conceive children, okay? But during this time, Spirit is supporting you and manifesting that to your external world. So watch your thoughts during this time, Aquarius. Some of y'all could also be having issues with your children. I'm seeing there's a single father. This father has, I see, a son that's about, looks to be about 11 or 12. Well, because this father works a whole lot. Um... There's a mother that that mother of that child could be incarcerated or um, could have recently passed away because I don't see a mother present, but I don't see it being like an option for her to be present. But I'm seeing single daddy. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Help is on the way. You've been closing our love, but the spirit is sending that woman to you to help you in the form of a fire sign or a water sign, baby. She could have both of these in her chart, but it's literally like. Spirit says you watch my videos, whoever I'm talking to. So because of that, I guess you're going to listen to me, but you ain't listening to your intuition. So let me tell you that hope is on the way. Let that fire, they say fire. Let that fire sign in. Y'all let me know who this is because, bro, comment because your message is coming through strong. Also, your 11-year-old is going to be okay. He's going through. He's not communicating it. Um, but I, he's, he's feeling he's feeling. For for one, this baby's crown chakra is popping. Have the conversation of spirituality with your baby because they're not holding on to uh, the way that we were raised, tradition. Okay, they're they they're learning different things and they're not learning it from you, and so they feel like y'all have this little disconnect right now. You may feel like you just don't you can't communicate with them, but you definitely can. But it's not in the way that you're trying to. You need to connect with them on the same spiritual path that you're on, but still being kind of protective about what they see because this baby is going through a change and he's also missing his mama okay so be there for your baby right now the little baby cool i don't see nothing going on with the little baby but the big one i'm talking to a man though um also during this time some of y'all are actually starting something new some of y'all are going to be starting new jobs during this time congratulations okay also with the new baby smoke a little kids congratulations babe some of y'all are also running into your twin flame who is possibly a cancer pisces scorpio uh, uh, cancer pisces scorpio and i feel like you're running even though this is a beautiful thing mother says stop running the reason why you're running is hurt from the past okay Things that you went through in the past have made you mask this person, okay? Mask the person that needs to heal from those emotions, okay? Because this light you, this new light you, your light self is trying to come to the surface and play, honey. But you have to allow it. You have to be accepting of your past, okay? And let God have it, all right? I do see some of y'all are learning a lot about the esoteric world as well. Some of y'all are, uh, during this time, we'll be learning about spells as well as, um, I do see some of y'all could also be learning about uh, manifesting money, possibly using like money draws or like some type of abundance candles. Some of y'all are also going to some form of like tarot class. A lot of y'all are trying to learn how to open your third eye, even though your third eye is crazy you just got to learn how to um activate it it's it, well it's it's like it's opening but you you trying to look too hard and be careful what you ask for okay whoever i'm talking to with that uh you don't have to try to open your, you could try to open your third eye but honestly 
it's coming to you naturally during this time, which is why you kind of going with your intuition to do it. But don't be putting them damn crystals on you. Okay. Don't be putting them damn crystals on your eye for you know not what you do, baby. You better be careful what you ask them to see, honey. Okay? That's for somebody. Some of y'all, some of y'all going to communicate with another air sign. Some of y'all are communicating with a Pisces as well. You know what you're communicating? Love! I love you! Okay? Even though intuitively this person I already know because you show it through your actions even though you don't say it. Alright? But it's time for you to go on this journey. A lot of y'all are embarking on your journey. Okay? Some of this, some of y'all this journey is new. But you're going to have to step out of the side of the darkness. Come completely away from... Come step into the light, Carolyn. <laughs> step into the light. You're going to have to step into the light, baby. Okay? So you have to take that experience that you went through. Take those situations and those circumstances. Okay? Learn from them. Right? Learn from them. Learn from them. Take the knowledge that you attain in order to move forward on a on a successful journey, a, one that you can actually trust. That's more. That's allowing you to trust more. Okay. Let the creator do the creator's job. You don't have to live in fear and doubt. It's not real. Okay. During this time, a lot of y'all are gonna be moving into moving out of cycles and into new cycles. Some of y'all are dealing moving away from Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all are just straight up moving into a new place. If you were waiting to hear back from an apartment, uh, apartment, a home, or anything of that nature, you're going to get it. You are going to be able to move. Congratulations, baby! Win, 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 win! I'm happy for you, boo. Also, some of y'all um are going to be moving towards a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like. This person just sees you. You get what I'm saying? Other people may see your beauty, may see your physical, um, your physical, uh, traits, okay, on the outside, but this person literally sees your soul. They don't just love you for your physical appearance. They love your soul, okay? So a lot of y'all are going to have a different perspective about love, okay, and how to accept in order to move forward into this new cycle. Some of y'all have a decision to make between two fire signs okay but for some of y'all i feel like you have a decision to make between a water sign and a fire sign but some of y'all this fire sign may make you feel like this fire sign will make you feel neglected okay and you may possibly feel like okay you off with that old cancer pisces scorpio helper because i do see that there's somebody definitely juggling okay two situations all right so let's get it spirit what do you have for my aquarius between the first and the 15th of september Show me. A lot of y'all definitely end in cycles, though. Up again, as I said it. Shit, <laughs> end in cycles, though. You have the world and the will of fortune. So it definitely tells me that you're ending one cycle to pick up another one, okay? And for some of y'all, you're ending the, you're ending the, the concept, the idea that you have in your mind about love, okay? That's changing during this time. You're starting to love from a whole place, okay? You're starting to see love from a whole place. From a spiritual place, a 5D place. Some of y'all are going into a new cycle with the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This person could also could be younger than you, okay? But I feel like in the past, you were very defensive toward this person, okay? I feel like it kind of blocked the energy of newness to come into your life. But this person is not taking no for an answer during this time. Because they know where your ass is. Some of y'all also, if you're not trying to have a baby, you definitely better watch it. Because some, I see some of y'all could be getting pregnant by Pisces and fire signs during this time. Um, or Scorpio, all right? I do see some of y'all, you have a sneaky air sign in your energy. You're going to figure that out. Air, the Aquarius, if this is you being sneaky, okay, if you've done something, yeah, this is Aquarius. So some of y'all, this is definitely Aquarius I'm talking to. Y'all, if you done did some shit, okay, and you're dealing with a fire sign, okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong emphasis on Sag and Leo because they're in the building. Or if you did something with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and you there's a child involved, shit's going to hit the fan. I'm going to go ahead and put it out there because I do strongly see it. Um, Let's see. Also, some of y'all have been waiting to reunite with the fire sign. You don't know how this person feels during this time. This uh, this first to the fifteenth of September. This person's gonna tell you how they feel. And for some of y'all, it's they want to move on. Okay, they actually want to do something different, or they have been doing something different. All right, or somebody different. All right, for some of y'all, and it's part of your feelings because this person is like you dream about this person. Uh, some of y'all, some of, for some of y'all, this person, you want to start over and start something fresh with this person, okay? Um, but I do see there's some newness that is going to be coming to the energy of air and fire, okay? So if you're dealing with a fire sign, you and this person had secrets in the past, all right? But some of y'all, this person is stalking the shit out of you. 
All right, they are stalking. Y'all have stalkers in y'all energy. Y'all people stalking y'all, but some of y'all definitely got victory. Some of y'all gonna be victorious moving forward and just focusing on your money. All right, and that's for the people who are coming out of tumultuous situations as far as love. But a lot of y'all are going into lewdness. Okay. And some of y'all are being defensive towards the tourists during this time. And again, this person is not taking no for an answer, baby. They are coming with, with full force and they want to love on you. What's wrong with somebody loving on you? Damn it. Take that love. Shit. A pat tag me in. The hell? What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> some of y'all definitely uh, have a Leo as well, um, or as well as a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, trying. This person is a soulmate to you, y'all. They want to be your everything. This person sees you as a mother figure, as a nurturer, okay? But some of y'all, you have a Leo that they, they not taking no for an answer either. I feel like you and this Leo is coming out of one cycle and going into another one. In the past, I feel like it was not as much communication, okay? But I feel like you're trusting your intuition. For some of y'all, you see the change and the growth in this person. Person, and as much as they get on your damn nerves, probably make your ass bitch. You love this person, and you can't turn it off if you try to. Like some of y'all wish y'all had a damn, <laughs> some of y'all wish y'all had a damn off button, but you don't have an off button, all right? Again, he go this Leo up in a whole other set of cards. Some of y'all are kind of holding your feelings close to your chest, all right? When dealing with a Leo, some of y'all do have a Leo in y'all, and y'all missed it has secrets, all right? You want to reunite with this person, but some of y'all is another child on the outside, exterior to y'all, external to y'all relationship, all right? And if this person left you in the past, that's what was going on. All right. Some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all want to give y'all love. Possibly to a Libra and work it out with this person, especially if you're married to this person. But I honestly, you're trying to heal from this Seven of Swords energy. Some of y'all, some of y'all, it was y'all who did the sneakiness and you want to fix it, you want to work it out. For some of y'all, this person is, if they've been distant during this time, they're going to communicate with you, but watch what you're doing because they are watching you. They're watching your ass like a hawk, okay? They want to see if you really mean it. Oh. Yeah, some of y'all want to reunite with a cancer. Y'all, they coming. But I feel like there needs to be clarity about certain things, truth and clarity, because I feel like you, y'all coming out of a cycle, okay, with I feel like this cancer, especially also with the Taurus and Elite and the Leo. Some of y'all are going into another cycle where in the past there could have been snakes out third, like, Outside influences of people, family members who had shit to say about what y'all had going on. This person has moved is moving away from that. They're kind of getting out of the they're getting out of the mindset of worrying about what everybody else got to say. Cause folks gonna talk whether you're doing good or you fucked up. Period. Once you realize that, you ain't got shit to lose. What I tell myself is Oprah ain't got friends. Some of y'all have an Aries, okay? That I feel like this person is everything you hoped and you hope and you wish for. Some of y'all are definitely going into another cycle with an Aries. Some of y'all, y'all watching the shit out this person or this person is watching you, but it's only because they're kind of going into, um, they're kind of going into this. They see you also going into this new energy. They see you ascending. They see you growing. They see you loving yourself. They see that you freed yourself from this mental confliction during this time. Also, some of y'all, um, some of y'all, you may have an air sign come in, and this person could have children, okay? Uh, this will be a, a younger person, all right? But this person has been watching you on your social media, and they may make some type of reference to you to let you know um, when, when they do communicate with you. They do want to be with you. They like you. But this person, the way that they're going to say they like you may freak you out. Like, they may say some something about your pictures or something like that. Like, they may tell you something that they saw on social media that you may look at as like, that's fucking creepy. But, no, this person really means well. They just, they, for some of y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that they country. They don't, they and, they, and they're kind of immature when it comes to love all right they don't they love through action so their communication be interesting sometimes so don't let it freak you out this person means well okay don't be coming talking about monkey is this motherfucker gonna be in my bushes now look for some of y'all y'all may have somebody in your bushes i don't know your business but i do know that this person means well but some of y'all y'all do got somebody in your bushes though aries energy sagittarius energy uh, Leo energy, Taurus in the building, in the bushes. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all are going ending one cycle, okay, possibly in a marriage with the Taurus, okay? So for those of you who are married to Taurus, y'all, there is still love there. There's a lot of love there. The pride got to die. 
it's a lot of ego to live in that house too. Whoever I'm talking to, married to the Taurus, the ego got to go. Some of y'all are moving away from a, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or possibly a Earth sign, and just focusing on your money because I feel like you having an issue with this person walking away from their past. They just gotta be, they gotta be the nightlife. They gotta be that that person, that woman, that guy in the streets instead of going home and fixing their shit. Some of y'all are moving away from the air sign as well, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you're just going to heal from the situation, focus on your money, go into a new cycle in which you're going to be very victorious and very successful on the things that you're passionate about. Some of y'all have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you want to reunite with and actually start something new, okay? And I do see that that is going to be very fruitful for some of y'all. Spirit, why is the two of ones here? Why the two of ones? Yeah, some of y'all, Aquarius, make a decision. You got two people to choose from for some of y'all. I feel like, or some of y'all have a fire sign in your energy, and this person has to, has to choose from you, a water sign, or you and another fire sign. And for some of y'all, again, some of y'all are having children, okay, and going into, I feel like some of y'all was on the verge of breaking up with somebody, all right? You thought this person was out your head, then boom, you find out you're pregnant during this time, and y'all going to a new cycle that you don't know is actually going to be very victorious. Congratulations, babe. Win, 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 ha! Some of y'all going to move forward, all right, possibly from an Aries Leo Sagittarius or with an Aries Leo Sagittarius because this person is a twin flame to you, okay? Some of y'all moved away from a Gemini as well, and you're moving forward with a fire sign after receiving that communication with them. Some of y'all are also dealing with the sign of Pisces with strong emphasis on Sagittarius as well. Some of y'all are dealing with the sign of um, Pisces. Some of y'all are also, and this person is also a twin flame to you, Aquarius. Some of y'all got Sagittarius twins. Some of y'all got Pisces twins. Some of y'all got Cancer twins. Some of y'all got Scorpio twins. Some of y'all got Aries. Yeah, it's, it's going down up in the building. But I do see twin flame in, uh, energy strongly in your reading. Also, some of y'all are going to be hearing from a fire sign that puts you in a three-party situation. This person going to work it out. So for some of y'all, you're going to find out a kid was involved. So it's going to put you in this hermit mode, introspection. What is it that I really want to do? Some of y'all are going to use work. Okay, as a distraction, all right. But some of y'all are working on bringing something, something new to the surface, something financial, attainable, something that you can see that is material. And baby, it's gonna bless. It's, it's a bl blessing, blessing, blessing. Watch your thoughts. For those of you who have been trying to manifest money and you're getting into money oils and money oils and things of that nature, uh, Spirit wants you to know that uh, some of y'all are doing. Some of y'all, you're it's it's not that your manifestations are not coming through. It's the intention. You can't manifest and then put a wish and a hope in the mix. They don't go together. Those energies are conflicting. Okay. So for those of you who are manifestors, okay, who are mystics, okay, for those of you who play with the arts, okay, and and use it in in the form of light, okay. For some of y'all, you're thinking about um, actually starting a business as far as spiritual practice, a spiritual business. It is going to boom and flourish as it is your life purpose okay some of y'all are definitely going to believe in a fire sign out in the cold possibly after finding that they're trying to resurrect the family situation possibly with an earth sign or another fire sign and you're going to find that this is the reason why this person left out in the cold and didn't communicate in the first place and i strongly feel like this situation was just a catalyst situation to make you get off your ass to change what it is that that you're that's true to you and that you know that you're supposed to be doing period okay so don't don't look at it negatively as if, you know, why is this happening to me? Look at it like, what is the universe doing for me? Because y'all energy is amazing. Only if you allow the newness to come in, only if you allow acceptance to happen, and only if you allow God to do God's job. All right? So I love y'all. This is what I have for y'all between uh, the 1st and the 15th of September. If you need that personal, y'all, hit me up. That information can be found within the description. Much love, many blessings, much abundance, and I love y'all babies.